Epivire versus Formic Pro. Um, I've never used a toxic chemical in my beehives. I started using Formic Pro Formic Acid last year, 2018, because it's organic. This right here is basically my Bible. Natural Beekeeping with Ross Conrad as the author. This is a 2013 edition. Um, if you've seen Vinyl, Vinyl Farms on YouTube, he sells and uses Apivar. It's not organic. Removal of the honey supers is required. On page three of Natural Beekeeping, under the title of Toxic Chemicals Infiltrate the Classroom, Apivar is one of the chemicals he's referring to. You go to page 151, organic acids, formic acid. If you follow my videos, I'm strictly organic. I will not ever use a toxic chemical in my hives. Now, right now I currently have it's my smaller colonies indoors. It's not all that warm in here. A lot of these are the colonies that were started late in the summer. And I do a lot of research during the winter. While most beekeepers sit inside, while their hives sit outside, and they don't open their hives until spring, I actually do research. And just to see how things are going, you know, if the formic acid has worked, are there mites in there? See, I can take and I can look at least 20 bees are within sight of me and I can look and see if there are any varroa mites on their backs. I love my bees. I know the formic acid kills quite a few of them when I use that. But I, I have gone through winter a winter with 90% loss of my colonies, and that was very hard to watch. Now, not all of them are small, but what I did was I took my double stack, the top row off, because I was a little bit concerned. Here it is November, and we have daytime temperatures in the teens. That's not right for this time of year. There's gonna be six months before these bees can get out. See, they're not all small. And you can feel the heat coming off of them. So, if you wanna follow me, I'm strictly organic, and it may look like I'm not, I'm not doing what most beekeepers do. My bees are inside, but I'm doing research on them. I do have 24 colonies outside right now. I check them every morning. And if I find a colony that's small and they've gotten chilled, I will strap them and bring them inside and warm them up. I will not lose any colonies. That's how I was successful last winter. During my surgery, I wasn't able to lift anything. So before my surgery, end of December, I brought them inside to this room just to make sure that they didn't freeze while I was laid up in bed. All right, thank you. Just wanted you to know.